We're checking out episode three on the thief build and the premise is simple. Every die you roll is going to have the exact same value and it increments every turn until it gets to six when it rolls back to one. This makes for some very unique, truly interesting strategies and the craziest, luckiest Kraken fight I have ever seen. We got a good one in store today. Let's jump right in. All right, so we're playing this. It's another ev episode. We're on the thief again. Basically how it works is all of your dice are the exact same number. So in this case, they're both snake eyes, right? Now what you do, you do this, deal three damage, nothing special. Next turn, we're gonna deal, we're gonna get all two dice. Wait, what was that? He got a six? And it levels up every turn. You can pay here if you wanna level up early. So say we wanna go get the two ones, upgrade here. Now we have two threes, and we can use the trips here to take him out in one turn. Simple enough. So the goal here is we're going to try to find some items, some weapons, something or another that'll help us take advantage of this ability we have. Now right now our earliest um, weapon we have here, the dagger, is going to be very good for, we'll say, right around tier tier two because you can level it up you can split level up you know like we did last turn um so we're actually we probably should have bandaged there because i think we're better off just letting it slide here for a second <laughs> so we're gonna take five damage here totally fine split it up um get a little healing here Feeling another five, that kind of hurts. But now we got trips going. What we can do is split, just like we did last time. Trips, and then we take him out. Nice and easy. We could have healed, but we're gonna heal anyways on level up, so no worries. We get an extra dice. So, as you would expect, the number of dice you get is directly proportional to how strong you are. So, obviously we're gonna try to get a bunch of them. Let's start wizard. And then we'll snake back around. So let's see. I think we want to end on a six or a one. So let's go here. You can heal a couple of times. End it on the six here. So next turn we can heal up for three. Or just deal damage too. That also works. Um, yeah, so let's split. Let's just heal. And then next turn we'll split and then go up to three. And I think that's gonna be our best bet here. We go here, we go here. Very similar to <laughs> both previous turns so far. Which is not a surprise. There's really one way to play it at this point in time. Um, freeze actually does not matter at all for us because we can still just split, upgrade. Um, let's see. Maybe we just heal up a little bit. He's getting a lot of damage right now. He hasn't got any fives or sixes yet. So let's go split here. Upgrade to ones. Let's do one damage so he's on a nice multiple of three, and then we'll go here. I think we should be able to carry over our trips to the next turn, and this is actually great. Normally this would be bad, but he's doing no damage right now. We're going to take him out next turn. I think that's going to be solid. And we set it up nicely here. Fantastic. Alright, um, we are at 10 health. We're gonna level up and heal up after this, so we'll grab one apple. Let's also see what we got here. Pea shooter. Okay, so now on tier, when we're on dice value five and six, we can use this. Not amazing, but could be worse, I suppose. What is this? What do we got here? Pickpocket is solid. Maybe we grab that just while all the fights are pretty chill. We might as well get some gold. We can definitely make that happen consistently. Let's go split, even. What are your moves? 
A lot of damage. Transform into a bear. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I think we'll use trips here. If we go trips on the four, we can go level and just use a whole bunch of these. Sounds great. We can do it again next turn if we are so inclined. So he's gonna get to use one. Which one do they target first? Okay. I'm surprised they didn't use the other one. Thought that would have been the play. Um, so let's do, let's split you up. We got five, one. I'm thinking we run it like this. And then heal. I think this seems solid. Start getting him to a closer, closer value here. And we are at 8 health, so we gotta be a little careful here. If we can take him out here, that would be awesome. Um, so, or we could heal, but he's gonna deal 8 damage and then turn into a bear. I think we're gonna have to run it like this. And just take him out here. Again, we won't need to heal, because we're gonna heal after we beat him. I'm curious what happens when he turns into a bear, though. <laughs> if I had more health, I would <laughs> I would have just let him do it. That could be fun. So we'll get the, the extra dice option. Generally just seems like a solid play. And we're on fours again. I think the... The good way to do it here is gonna be... Split. Level. Level. And then we can pickpocket and Hall of Mirrors. We're not doing any damage, but we're setting up pretty well. So he's gonna blind, but he doesn't get to damage, and curiously enough, blind doesn't matter for us. Um, so that's good to know. So let's split you. We can... There's really no reason to not just do this, right? We'll just get some damage cooking. Normally I like to do it on two, so we don't have to level up twice in a, in a round, but I think this is okay. Excuse me. Okay. So let's do, let's split you. And we do the same play we did last time. Where we go extra dice, set this one up. Uh, it actually doesn't really matter if we do that one. We'll do it. Now he is going to do 4 damage. You know what, with that being said, maybe we do a little healing. Bring him down to the 12 mark here, and then we should be good to go. Doesn't really matter what we do with the last dice. Ooh, he didn't get any damage. Even better. Okay. And if my calculations are correct here, we should be good to go. Do this. And then we just sauce him up. So far, so good. Not half bad. Alright, so we don't need the apple, because we played that perfectly. Now we can purchase... what do we want? Counterfeit. I wonder what the snake eye charm upgrades into. Maybe we get both of them. Just so we can see later. And counterfeit, I believe, drops down to a one size. We don't need right now, but will be great later. We're weak to shock. I think we're gonna do the same exact play we did on the previous one. We pickpocket Hall of Mirrors. I think it'd be so cool if there was some item or something. Oh, that's very lucky for us. Some item that you could get that just straight up, like, makes a, an item permanently reusable, you know? I don't, what am I doing? <laughs> we're already max health. I don't, I, for some reason, I thought we got hit there. But obviously we didn't. 
All right, so weakness is going to be a bit of a problem here, potentially. If it hits here, which it did. So we'll have to split. Um, I think what we'll do in that case, in light of recent events, just run it like this. Don't have to go crazy. We can still get our three. Nice three turn cooking. And we have trips. Hold on, seven times th four is... Sometimes three is 21, that's perfect. We can actually use trips here. Beautiful. Love to see it. This is going pretty clean so far. Uh, what's, in, what's in here? Add poison? Okay. Could be good. What do we get? This one we can use on evens, not just six. This one steals extra gold. Um, on six split into three could be very interesting. That's also interesting. What about this? We know that one. That one needs just lower cost. Not as nice as I thought it would be. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I think we're probably going to go... Oh, pea shooter is really good. That deals 4 damage on tier 5 and 6. Let's wait. I think we're going to come back to it. But let's first kind of check out the rest of the options. So we go split, even, upgrade, upgrade 6. My favorite start, apparently. On six, inflict. Okay, so it's gonna deal eight damage and shock. What's it gonna shock? That's the real question. Totally fine. Just get some healing going. Set up for our dagger next turn. We got another six. <laughs> guy's insane. The reason I like to set up on two here is because you can split and then upgrade. So you can get a little bit of a little bit of value off of that. Granted, you split and then so it's kind of like net even, <laughs> as opposed to if you're already on three. So you can get another shot. Not too surprised there. Now we split. Hmm. Okay, hopefully he doesn't... He'd have to get very lucky to kill us here. I don't think. <laughs> he got two sixes. That won't be enough, fortunately. He would have had to get two sixes and a five, or two fives and a six, something like that. Okay, so we're good. We're gonna go... Split you. Here. I think we're gonna... I think we're going to level up at the end of this. Just in case I'll heal one, as if it matters. <laughs> Let's see. Are we leveling up? We are. Okay, huge. If we weren't, I think we'd be in a little trouble. We got apples, but, you know. Okay. Could dodge, potentially. Dodge next attack. What does that do? I'm curious what the upgrade is for this. It's just on odd. I mean, it's pretty good. I feel like we're missing damage, though, you know? I'm feeling the pea shooter. I can't explain why. It just feels like that's the play right now. And then I think we ditched the pickpocket. We can pretty much buy whatever we want at this point. We should probably upgrade counterfeit at some point too. The lockpick kind of acts like a counterfeit in some ways. Maybe we set up a, a poison slingshot. Gives us something we can do on turn three. You can just spam it, you know? Okay, we go here. 
Yeah, so we just go like this. Perfect. Thinking if we'd actually upgraded to four, it would have been the same result. That probably would have been better. But then we would be on tier five now. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go rip here. We're gonna go five, five. Let's actually upgrade. We can stack a couple poison here too. Then do we want do we want Hall of Mirrors? I think dealing four damage is better. The poison's gonna take care of him, right? <laughs> Surely. Surely the poison takes care of him here. Ooh, these are some interesting... Okay, so as he progressively unlocks more of these keys, he just does insane damage, apparently. Good to know. So you deal 5 damage. Don't actually know if we can get that. We're one dice short of getting the slingshot. But we can skip... We can dodge an attack here. Maybe that'll be enough. We'll take three less damage. And he got a two, which is fortunate. He didn't unlock another thing. Yeah, so now we can just focus on healing. We do this, we do this. Heal up four. And then take him out. Sweet. And then we can heal up the remaining five with the apple. And then we're good. Actually, we have two apples. <laughs> Whoops. I guess we were good anyways. Alright. The issue I'm having is we have a lot of high cost things. You know, a lot to do on tiers 5s and 6. Maybe what, the dagger would have actually been better. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not going to say that it for sure would have been, but it's possible. Okay, split it. We go here. Um, let's upgrade. What do you do? Do damage, burn, freeze. That's fine. We go here, we go here. Something like that. We're gonna dodge. Hopefully he plays a five first. He does. Fantastic. Oh, because he didn't want to play the three. I guess that's fair. Let's split you. Let's go here, here. Maybe we grab an extra dice. Or like that. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. I mean, a lot of trips, I guess, for what that's worth. Go here, start upgrading. I'm thinking we do this. Dack some extra poison. The odds of him killing us this turn are pretty low. Oh, that that is a pretty pretty scary hand. But now we can take him out. We can take trips here. We'll go here. We need one more. And then we can heal for three. Okay, we took a lot of damage. We took 26, not great. But fortunately we have some apples to work with. Another lockpick, okay. I think we eat both of the apples because we're gonna have to take on two enemies here. A little scary. Freeze one dice, roll a one. Is that even good? I mean, we're not using pickpocket, so maybe. Let's fight Crystalina and then we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we're feeling. What do you do? We a crystal weapon? It's a little scary. I don't know what that does. Start stacking. I think four is our sweet spot here. We can get you down a little bit. Okay, he did get two crystal weapons from that roll. 
But he opted not to get to. Okay. All right, we go here. Unfortunately, this is blocked. We can dodge. We can go here. I think we run it like this. Six damage and shock. Fortunately, we blocked that one. That one would have <laughs> would have been unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna have to use this. Upgrade. Maybe we upgrade to four, and then we add some poison. He's got so much health. We gotta work through. Oh boy, we opted for the shock. This one just does damage. We're in trouble here. We're looking a little dangerous. Okay, we'll go here. We can dodge an attack if we need to. And then I think we do this. Dodge, upgrade. We can go here. Double poison. If we survive this next turn, we'll win from poison. We're gonna take six damage and then one. Oh, <laughs> no <Nose> shot. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, give me some healing, please. Crystallina homie is mean. <laughs> Alright, we got the win. We're gonna have to pull out something crazy if we're gonna be cracking though. We could roll a couple sixes. Countdown on all equipment. Hold on. What equipment do we have here with countdown? Not much, but we could we could maybe make that happen. We throw in. Hold on. We could buy two, these two here. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna go here. Deal. Okay, so here's my plan. We could make poison our main source of damage. Ignore the pea shooter. Get two lockpicks, freeze, it's gonna be like a heal a bunch kind of build, just survive it through poison. Or survive and damage him through poison. Which could be a little spicy against a Kraken, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. He can curse, he can blind, and he deals damage with evens. Which if we freeze, he can't do that. At least. Let's go here. We want to upgrade, upgrade, and then five. Upgrade, upgrade, five. So we can heal one, we can freeze. We can roll another one. And then, okay. This feels like a solid turn. Why does this guy have five dice? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. We're gonna split. Did not get any fives, unfortunately. Let's go here, here, here. Okay. We're healing some, but like, <laughs> he's still gaining a lot of damage on this overwhelm, which I'm not a fan of. He didn't use it twice though. 
maybe that's a good sign for us. Okay, we got cursed. Like we need to start working down this poison slingshot we got here. <laughs> We're not getting enough of them. Okay, so he's only using this once again. That's a good sign. Blind two doesn't matter. I'm glad the AI doesn't realize that blinding means nothing. <laughs> that would be bad for us if he did. All right. Give me a dodge. Hmm, that's tough. That's not good. Roll trips. We can split. So we need two here for for our poison. Two sixes when we upgrade. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I think we split here. We go odd, roll a one. I think this is the play. Get some more poison stacks on him. He only got one even. Okay, that's good. We're blinding, that's fine. <laughs> Split a dice, split a dice, freeze. We gotta make sure we're doing this. We can't roll two evens. Does he realize? <laughs> or is he gonna curse? Okay, we're good, we're good. He's cursing. How much is he doing right now? Six damage. We can dodge one, so we have to get seven health. Come on, dude. We're not even cursed. Why did that happen? <laughs> I'm confused. He actually didn't roll any evens. No shot. <laughs> no shot. That is insanity. Okay. So we can turn this into three. We can just heal up. Dude, we got way too lucky. We should not have survived that round. <laughs> he could have killed us too, but he chose not to. Split a dice in three is very good. Needs a three, do zero damage, add one on each item use. See, it's not repetitive is the issue. Hacksaw might be good. What if we upgrade? Two uses per turn seems pretty good. I think we do this. Upgrade you. That seems solid. <laughs> okay, can we pull it out? That's the question. Direwolf? He's strong against poison, isn't he? That, that's gonna be tough. What are your moves? Okay, so we actually don't want to freeze, interestingly enough. if we freeze, he's going to actually get these, and we don't want him to get those. Okay. Do we upgrade this one? 
probably. Great a couple of times. He did get doubles, but he opted not to do it. That's good news for us. We can split, we can split. Upgrade, upgrade. Go here. Kind of weird that trips doesn't actually do much for us. <laughs> we go here. Um, let's upgrade. Helps us scale up a little quicker. He did get doubles, but he only got one claw ability. Oh, that counts as dodge. Interesting. I didn't know that's how that would work. We go here. Dodge. Here. Double the poison. The poison will eventually get him. It's just dealing very little damage right now. It's gonna take a little longer, that's all. Fortunately, these dodges are helping out a lot. Okay, we go here, here, here. We can't dodge this turn. We could have. But I'd rather get poison going. You gonna do claw? Good. Okay. Curse is such a pain. I hate dealing with curse. <laughs> Let's go here. Let's split you. Let's split you. Go grips. All right. So we're gonna upgrade. We're gonna go here, here. One, two, three, double heal. Seems great. He's only got a two and a one. We dodge his two. The AI is not the best in this game. <laughs> they don't seem to know what they're doing. But we'll take it. Um, we got two turns left. Let's do this. Ooh, that is huge. Curse means nothing. It might stop us from healing, potentially. Okay, good. Good, please no curse. Thank you. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> this build seems... Okay. If it had a better healing mechanism, I think it would be fantastic. For now, it's okay. Okay, on six, split into three. Doesn't actually seem as good as I originally thought it might. Teleport being odd might actually be good. Backpack we got. Good counterfeit too. We could also run Hall of Mirrors, but we don't. That's not what I meant to click. I'm gonna say we don't seem to need it that much, but I guess we're <laughs> I guess we're gonna upgrade it. Whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go here. What are your abilities? Okay. So definitely good to freeze in this case. We go five, upgrade, double poison, seems great. Holy moly, what a roll. Okay, fortunately she chose to silence one of them. All right, split it, split it. Cool, now let's start upgrading. And I think we do this. Make sure we get some more poison triggers cooking up. Man, they're getting some crazy, crazy rolls right now. The fact that we have two frozens and she's still getting a six out is insane. So we can dodge. Freeze a couple. 
then we're just gonna do a whole boatload of healing this turn. We're gonna go trips, heal, <laughs> and by a boatload, of course, I mean four. The healing ability is just so bad. <laughs> it's really not good. He does get a curse, unfortunately. That might screw with us a little bit. Okay. It's fortunate. Four. I think we go five. Dodge. Next turn we'll split some sixes. Maybe we'll get another. Ooh, huge. See, this is what I was picturing with the Frozens. <laughs> Not like still throwing out sixes over here. That's just insane. We did run a five, huge. Okay, we go here. We go... Um, we actually did that a little bit wrong. They're gonna need to go six here, and we also need a six to upgrade. I guess we don't have to. We could just do this. We don't actually have to uptick, right? We're using all of our abilities. Who cares? Use the two here. Yeah, okay. Save one health. Huge. <laughs> we actually didn't really save any health, did we? <laughs> First, that's whatever. At least we get to heal. Alright. This build seems like the build we're going for. This seems like a solid setup. We got here. Ooh, that's tempting though. Tell me that isn't tempting. Give me some health. We level up in nine, so we have to beat two more homies, so we might as well grab you. And then we'll go warlock so we have access to the apple. All right, what do we got here? Split, split. From Frozen, what do you do? What are your abilities? Do damage and flick confuse. I don't know what that does. That's a new one. Okay, here, here. Five, upgrade, double on the poison. I guess we're about to find out what Confuse does. Oh, we aren't actually, because we dodged it. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> hey, if I never have to find out what Confuse does, I'll be happy. That sounds great. Um, so... I mean, do we just do this and then dodge heal? Or do we stack more poison? I think the poison's pretty important. Considering it's our only damage source, I think it's pretty important. He did get an even. What did I do? Quinn is mixed up and obscured. Mixed up and obscured, I see. Okay. Well, we're obviously gonna dodge. <laughs> and then duplicate. And then. So it's duplicate and what's the other one? So this is heal. I'm forgetting what our other ability is. There's healing, there's duplicate. This is the poison. There's dodge. I'm insane. <laughs> what is it? Oh, wait, no, that's the poison. What is going on? That's the one, the freeze guy, okay. <laughs> I felt like I was going insane there. Go here. Um, let's just upgrade. What's one health really, you know? Aside from like pretty darn important. Good dodge, love it. Confuse is kind of, okay. Here's what I really like about this game. All of the, like the detriments and stuff, they usually feel pretty satisfying. Like you can actually, if, you, if you're smart enough, <laughs> Which I'm not saying I am, but if you are, you know, you can play around them pretty well. It makes it more fun, I think. Okay, we dodge. We added two weaken. What's it gonna weaken? Okay, that's actually not, not a huge issue. 
We do need to hit this 12 though. Um, okay, let's do this. Here, and then we'll grab the poison. I think that's as clean as I could have gotten it. Maybe there's a better way to do that. Okay, now we can get some health. Check out the shop. What do we got? Don't need an apple. Magic spear, it's not recurring, so it doesn't really matter. Detonator is unnecessary. It's like you already have poison, what's the point, you know? Blight seems like something we may want to do. Do we get rid of bandage? Again, it's just like more high end though. <coughs> Hmm. Right, because you need four sixes to get this one. And we're already trying to put two of them on the slingshot. We don't have that many sixes. Maybe we throw in a hall of mirrors, as crazy as that sounds. I wonder if we get rid of a lockpick. Right, do we need that many? Or can we just go bandage? Bandage with Hall of Mirrors. Hall of Mirrors is effectively like a lockpick of sorts. Um, especially considering we upgraded it accidentally. <laughs> so we might as well use it. Let's be clear, the upgrade was not, not a bad upgrade. What do you do? Okay, Frozen's gonna be huge on you. Alright, because we can still do this. Like, that's just really good. We go here, go up to four so that we get five at the start of next turn. Got four ones that will dramatically slow down the the pace. Okay, so we're gonna go split you. We're gonna go here, here. Let's do it like this. Then we'll go to ones. He does get a four. We do need to make sure we're actually hitting these these poisons as much as possible. Because we could actually run into some issues if we don't. The Hall of Mirrors is definitely going to help out here. <laughs> I wonder how many dice you can get. Like, what's the max? We get poison, we can't run teleport immediately. I think the poison's more important. In which case, yeah, we should have we should have done the bandage. I'm not gonna uptick here, because I do want a teleport spell next turn. Okay, so we got that one. Maybe we don't need a teleport spell next turn. He's just gonna heal, right? You know? Like maybe we just heal. Yeah, the odds of him actually healing and then doing damage is pretty slim. Let's run it like this. We need two here, we need one here, we need three total. This is perfect. We're just gonna get as many dice as possible. We already have eight dice, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, so he's not even close. It didn't even change the weather. It's still freezing. <laughs> what is that all about? I was promised a weather change. Go here. Upgrade. Upgrade. Now I will teleport spell. Because he's probably going to get a... Yeah, he's gonna at least get the snowstorm here. Cut out for some reason. We're back. Um, one thing I've noticed playing this game is 
hurting the enemy is often far more valuable. Oh, he's gonna die here. That's good to know. Um, so let's actually just do this. Let's just heal back up to full. Might as well do that. The good thing about extending out these games for a long time is you can actually reliably heal, <laughs> which is pretty good. Very important. And yeah, we don't need any of those. Let's head on out. Fight the boss. Audrey, that's a new one. Is there any chance we want Blight here? I don't think so. As long as there's not any, like, no poison whatsoever <laughs> little thing there, I think we're going to be good. The Glass Cauldron is very strong. Yeah, it's very good when, you can, when you're able to take out the, the enemy's abilities more so than buff yourself. What do you do? Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna be totally fine. Split you. Go here. Let's go dodge. And then let's just... No, I guess we're at full health, aren't we? <laughs> that was unnecessary. Not that it's gonna matter, but it's kinda funny. Alright, split into a five, hopefully. Beautiful. And then we're gonna go double up on you. And let's just kinda uptick a bunch. I don't need to heal, might as well. And yeah, he's just getting a whole bunch of ones now. The ailments are so strong, we didn't even need dodge, that's insane. 3-1. Here. Even. Jump up to 5. I mean, if we're not taking damage, we don't even need this many dice, but <laughs> just for fun, let's see how far it can go. Okay, he is actually doing- or she. Audrey is actually doing damage now. We have something to heal. Go here, go here. Need two sixes for Hall of Mirrors. Teleport spell is no effect. What the heck? We're getting played. Let's go heal one. Bullet. Double up some poison. Ooh, we got trips. You are in trouble. This is gonna be solid. Obviously start out the black cauldron here. Extra dice, cause why the heck not? Five here. That's the thing, you don't even really need these these trips here. I will use it just to like upgrade a bit. Then heal one. No headbutts, perfect. Does get the earthquake. Hopefully that won't hurt us too bad. We're gonna hit. Oh, we dodged it. <laughs> it's gonna hit nothing. Alright, we go here. We dodge. Get some more poison. This is definitely an attrition kind of build. Pretty sure. Poison abilities in all games are just so good though. They're just so powerful. Kinda ridiculous. They don't even need to think about doing damage right now. All I do is stack poison every now and again. <laughs> and then dodge a bunch of times. And we're cooking. We go here. Heal up a couple. And then next turn, Audrey is a goner. Let's see if we can heal up. She's gonna damage our healer. Ooh, she's not. Can we get back up to full? <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> now I see why Bandit is limited to one health reusable. You get builds like this with Hall of Mirrors. I'm glad we accidentally upgraded it, by the way. It worked out pretty well. 
And we made that boss look like literally nothing. That was kind of crazy. It's a good build. I like it. Something about those attrition builds is just satisfying. You're like, you don't have to worry about anything. You're just chilling. You're just having a good time, and it just works. We got the third one. Love to see it. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And that is all for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.